And I just finished my five day fast and um, this is the sixth day. This is what I call a weed and refeed, the sixth to the sixteenth day. <clears throat> That's when you try to rebuild, you feed those new stem cells that were just blossomed during the five day fast. But when you get your blood, if you get your blood tested, uh, try to uh, get it first thing in the morning and also stay hydrated because um, dehydration will really screw up some of the blood tests. So um, hopefully I'll continue this video after I get my blood test if I don't pass out. I'll say that this uh, five day fast was a little bit tougher than the other ones. Um, I, I think this is my sixth, if I'm not mistaken. Started in June. Um, uh, I forget, but but um, I haven't done it for two months. I, I missed December because there was a lot going on, and then January. So I, I think it's January 31st, <clears throat> and um, all I did, uh, number one, I didn't exercise because I was told by my friend Bonnie you shouldn't exercise during the five-day fast, and I researched, and it is suggested that you take it easy. <clears throat> and I think the reason is when you exercise, you can change around the anabolic or catabolic state and you don't want to really turn that on during the fast you want to turn down everything uh, in addition um, <clears throat> during the times that I, I was able to work but during the times that I worked I went home and I eventually went to sleep my wife made fun of me because she said I was 70 years old I was under the sheets after my shower and just sleeping like eight but also because I was so tired uh, the fuel during the third, fourth, and fifth day is really tough. I looked at the schedule for the fifth day of the Prolon box, and it's like, oh man, not even olives, and I hate olives. But I was like, oh shoot, now I miss them. So uh, the sixth day, as I mentioned, is weed and refeed. So if I can get, sixth to the sixteenth, if I can get enough of those new stem cells that got blossomed to pop up, and if I can get those bad senescent cells, those precancerous cells to die, then we win. So you want the bad crap to leave, you want the good crap to blossom. And uh, I made it through, I'm really excited to exercise, but um, you gotta take it easy. Uh, I'm gonna get my blood tests and then hopefully refuel. If I can refuel properly this morning, um, it's a little bit late, it's eight o'clock. The other thing too, if you get your blood tested, I, I want it in the morning, so you can get a pr I want to see testosterone levels and thyroid levels. From my videos in the past, uh, I've shown that my thyroid goes from producing good thyroid to crappy thyroid. That's uh, free T3 to reverse T3. I don't, I'll probably explain that in a thyroid video, but um, I also want to see testosterone levels and uh, CBC. So uh, try to get it in the morning of and as best as you can, but like, like now I'm here. I got here a little late I had to go to the office print up some stuff I've got all my food my fuel is in the car and I can't wait to have my protein and some of my some of my fat and carbohydrate um, I'm just dying but uh, again part of the uh, the good results in a blood test would be with hydration so uh, don't forget to do that otherwise if you're dehydrated and I see some states of dehydration then I might have to repeat blood tests so you're better off just drinking a ton of fluid um, warm if you can. I don't think tea or coffee makes a difference, but if you want to be absolutely uh, straight, then uh, be fasting, just water. I just got my second treatment with Dr. Mabel Angel for acupuncture, and uh, today is now, I'm post uh, fasting mimicking diet. And then one of the problems with the diet is, at least when I do the fasting, is that it sometimes will knock me out of my sleep cycle. So this definitely will reset the sleep rhythm and hopefully give me bursts of energy so I can have clarity in figuring out my next step. But this is another benefit. This time we did cupping, which is another uh, ancillary form of energy moving and energy balancing using the meridians of Chinese medicine. So, feeling pretty good. This uh, starts off my two week sabbatical and we'll see which way the direction takes me. Hey, so Dr. Angel told me that I can exercise today and that's probably all based on my energy that she was able to feel or figure out through Q&A and pulse and tongue reading. So I'm going to try to get a workout. 
what I realized is I mentioned that um, you're not supposed to exercise during the fasting mimicking diet five days. And uh, anytime I think it's called, I call it the weed and feed phase at six to 16 days, the sixth to the 16th day, you have to slowly reintroduce healthy food. So it's uh, really tempting to binge during that time because you've been lacking a lot. But if you c have it daisy chained that you're going to do another fasting mimicking diet in the next month or the next three months, it makes it easy to just hold off on the binge and pay it forward with healthy eating. I, I would say it also helps if you exercise, and I'm talking about resistance exercise, because that ultimately will help with weight loss more so than cardio. And I'll probably get to that in a, another video, but uh, if you hold off on exercise, it makes it so much more uh, luscious to get back into it on the 6th to the 16th day and thereafter. But uh, yeah, you want to, the, the bottom line with the FMD is that you want to see if you can initiate fat loss, but it was made to uh, help with um, getting all your cells into the protective effect. Uh, if you protect, if you get them into the protective phase, then they start to blossom stem cells. If you also have those can cancer cells that are on the verge, you push them over into apoptosis, which uh, usually helps with getting them, getting rid of them and eliminating cancer. So it's important to follow the rules, um, no exercise, uh, and then uh, really to try to keep the urge to binge away. And then start planning for the next time. Usually if you can do it once a month, I think that's fair once every season or every three months uh, it's going to cost you but you can kind of formulate how to do it on your own or calculate on your own so uh, give it a try um, i obviously messed around with the formula because i also throw in um, chinese medicine or acupuncture which will really change around a lot because i found that with um, my third to fourth to fifth day it usually screws up my sleeping and with uh, sleeping being a little off it uh, calls for a reset and the reset sometimes takes a little bit of uh, work but hopefully if you're not too far off the mark as far as uh, your sleep cycle then you get, get right back into it within a couple days if you're already uh, screwed up with your sleep cycle and then you do the fasting mimicking diet it's gonna really play havoc uh, that's why I wanted to throw this in. But honestly, if you're doing it for weight loss, that's fine. But it's for more than that. It's for uh, longevity. That means you can combine anything you want. But if you're trying an experiment uh, limitedly, you might want to do just one thing at a time. Medical acupuncture for a while, see if it works, or see what it does. It will work. Uh, fast mimicking diet. But don't forget, you have to daisy chain into a healthy diet after that. Mediterranean or keto or vegetarian, whatever your medical problem is. And then exercise, as I mentioned, resistance, more so than cardio, although cardio is good. And then spirituality and calm. You always have to manifest sleep. So, wrapped all up. Hopefully this, uh, I'm going to take a DEXA scan and do this again in about a month. But um, this will hopefully help you guys. Check out my links to the YouTube videos I've done on fasting mimicking diet below. Otherwise, have a good life.